Thursday, April the 15th. Can you believe it? But we, we missed the rain last night. It stayed south of us all last night and this morning. Sorry to you guys down in the Panhandle of Florida and all, Mobile area, but uh, it missed us. So we're gonna make the decision and we're gonna move PA's planter and we're gonna head back to some other farms uh, to the west. We're gonna head back toward Lowndes County and start doing some fields over there that are dry and uh, start putting some corn in the ground. We're gonna leave Dad's planter here so uh, when the ground does get dry at Blackwell's Bend, where we are, where we've been forever, uh, he'll kind of pick around and uh, keep planting up here till he finishes. One planter can finish up here. So uh, what I gotta do is I gotta move my row gator because uh, I gotta follow PA putting out fertilizer. I've already done the herbicide on all these other fields, but uh, I do have to follow him or I can't get out in front of him and put fertilizer. So that's what we're doing. Josh has already moved the fertilizer trailer there on the way. Him and James, PA's already on the road moving. I'm about to crank up the rogator and move. So uh, we're going to get out of here and we're going to go to some more other farms. So I uh, hope you all enjoy the video and uh, let's see what we can get done. We made it. We made it to Tyler Graveyard, what we call it. Um, man, it gets a little crazy going through that town. Got a lot of low limbs, a lot of traffic, red lights, but uh, we made it. Um, got a couple of fields in this area. Uh, it's gonna be all be they'll all be corn. This one's just a little bit too wet right here. I don't know if you can see in the background. Some of it, most of it's dry, but you'll go just a little ways and um, you'll hit a mud hole and then you'll hit another mud hole. But Still a little on the damp side. PA is uh, just right on the other side of those woods. He's in a field, that's where we're going next. But uh, it's a little more, little bit more sand, sandier, sandier dirt. So uh, he's running over there fine and he's gonna hit I think three fields over there, and then he's got another one up the road that we feel pretty sure we can uh, plant today. So uh, I'm gonna be just following him, putting out this 28005. Uh, as you can tell, I've already sprayed the herbicide out here. That's why everything looks really, really dead. So we'll not have any issue with herbicides affecting the corn here. And uh, we will not in the future either. But I'm gonna fill it up, and then I'm gonna go chase PA. PA is moving along. He's just about knocked this field out. He's uh, over that hill. You'll see him in a minute. But uh, I'm going to go out here and check seed depth. And uh, see if he's planting too deep or too shallow. about right perfect 
But you see how sandy this ground is. The whole, basically the whole field is like this. Pretty much the same throughout, but it's uh, that's damp and it won't even ball up. It's fine right now, but in the middle of the summer, this will get really, really dry really quick. So you got to make your corn quick or whatever crop, and you better hope for rains because uh. It will get dry on you real quick on this field. So uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll catch the rain when we need it. But planting depth looks good. Oh boy, we got visitors. See that dog back there? I don't know where it came from. Looks good. Know where that dog went. Like he's gonna jump out and bite me. Time for another load. This trailer is a little bit different than the other trailers we have. It's got this safety valve right here. And you have, 
you have to open it and what it does we got a valve right here those two valves you got to open and there's some kind of that that cable goes all the way up to that handle and it it open i think it's some kind of plunger some type of plunger valve or something that's twisting and pulling but this trailer we bought it two years ago it is a wonderful trailer uh, the undercarriage and all is just you can't get any better shape than this trailer and it used to be a diesel trailer we bought it at J&M wood auction plug uh, $4,500 is all this trailer cost we had a we got a heck of a deal uh, this trailer should have gone for like 12000 but anyway that's another story so it's kind of set up different you know to haul diesel got all these little safety valves you have to uh, I don't know I guess they have to be equipped with to, uh, to get DOT they got to have backup valves in case they don't so they don't have a spill but I may see about somehow doing away with that valve and, uh, or either somehow making it stay open and just having the one valve up there because you can hear it sucking air and I think it's I think it's something to do with that valve is not a big opening or something but we'll work on that maybe this summer get all this fertilizer out of it, get some water in it while I can climb down in there and not pass out while I'm in there but love the trailer great trailer 5,000 gallon trailer on the small end so that's why I haul fertilizer in it love it I'm gonna be on the farm a while trailer is empty I'm gonna send Roy to go get me a load and look what decided to show up today that really bright thing that's the Sun ladies and gentlemen we want it to stay out Woo, get something done I know somebody's gonna ask the trailer is a 5,000 gallon like I said trailer it's a 1998 Westmark next field that we're gonna do PA is right on the other side of those woods but uh, this is pretty much the last field in this area I think that we can do this dry right now may have some dry up tomorrow around here but this is the smoke place we're gonna enter it in all our screens and then we will take off and get going The worse it smells, the better it is. I thought maybe this stuff burned. <laughs> That's a smart firmer that we repaired. It's still on there. He said it's still getting a reading in the cab, so as um, long as it gets down in that furrow and these lights are blinking and he's getting some readings off of it on the iPad, we're good to go.
having fun out here today it has turned out to be a wonderful day to be farming in alabama we made the right move to come down here closer to our shop get on some dry land split the planters up because uh, we are covering some ground now and this is perfect soil conditions everything's perfect it should come up and germinate uh evenly without a doubt we'll check on it though but uh thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one